Hey Jack here with Two Brothers Avengers up on the Mogollon Rim. Once more I'm with my friend Miriam. Um, we're out here and I'm letting her get a little feel for some of our fire striking methods. And she's got the blast match right now. I haven't shown her how to use this. She has no clue. This is her first time that she's ever even handled this device. So she's going to try and start a fire and see how easy she can, she can get her done. So go ahead and get your cotton ball out first. Once more, this is just to show you that, um, you know, these things aren't rocket science. There's no magic. There's no, you know, smoke and mirrors. This can be done by anybody. No offense, Miriam. <laughs> uh, but it does help to get a little, you know, practice in. And it does help to either watch some videos on how to use them or, you know, have somebody give you a little bit of a advice. That's good. That's probably plenty. <laughs> that looks pretty. <laughs> okay, now to open that, you can either push on up on this lid right here one-handed or you can pull this little tab back just a little bit with a, with a nail. Wanna break a nail? Oh. There you go. Now fold that back around up on the bottom. Okay. Oh. Okay, and then what you do is with your thumb, grab it in your palm of your hand. With your thumb, put as much downward pressure on that as you can, okay. and then you're going to put this on the ground right next to your thing and just push it down, simultaneously holding down on that striker with your thumb, and just push it straight into that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait. Plus you do it faster, huh? Well, just so it sparks. Okay, you might not want to do it with your nails, because I'll totally kill you. Okay, go ahead and go right on top of the... There you go. Then you'll catch all your sparks and it won't miss. A lot of pressure. I don't like this one. <laughs> okay, as you see, this takes a little bit more practice. I mean, I've... I've done this so many times it was pretty easy for me. I like this a lot, but... As you can see, this takes a little bit more development in your skills. Go ahead and fluff your stuff out just a little bit more. What you're doing is you're not getting quite enough pressure on the uh, striker bar. If you can squeeze that. Squeeze this yeah, a more? push that. And another method is to use both hands so that you can get enough. There you go, like that. And get enough pressure. Ooh. There you go. So you're getting a lot more sparks here. I'll hold, the, I'll hold that down for you. Okay, good and hard. Almost had it. Ah, that thing's kind of just burned. <laughs> Push it hard. see it for a second. And then just to show you, since I've done this so much, well, see now I'm having trouble. Maybe it's just cotton ball. Let's try another one. Okay, go ahead. So see, this is why it's good to get out and practice with these things, because if she had purchased this and didn't know anything about it, and just went out and tried it like this, she'd lose confidence in this and not have any confidence in it at all. When it's probably one of the best strikers there is, once you, once you master it. There, there you go. go. Try it again. <laughs> okay. Okay, give it another try now that you've got the, got the hang of it. There you nice. go. Nice. <laughs> okay, so see that just that's it's a really great point to show you that there might have been something wrong with that cotton ball. Um, maybe it was the technique, maybe it was the fact that, you know, it took us a little while and we run it rubbed it around the dirt a little bit, but if she would have gave up and not not kept going or not had somebody that had confidence in this, you know, she could have thrown that away and, and not thought it was a very good fire striker. In fact, it's it's a very good one, and now that she knows that she can use it, she'll have more confidence in it to practice with it. So that's the reason that you need to get out and try these things, and if you're having difficulty with it, 
find somebody on YouTube or find somebody who knows how to use them and see if they'll give you a hand or give you some tips. Feel free to contact us. If we know how to help you out, we will. So this is Jack and Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, just out here having a little fun and playing with some fire strikers and building our skills.